Yes, in the sliding glass door of, <clears throat> in a sliding mirror door of the left corner bedroom, the corner bedroom that's right next to the bathroom, uh, we have to the left, we have our repository of linens and towels and stocking supplies for our guest. So starting at the, at the very top, we have our comforters, we have uh, our um, mattress covers, and then we have towels and, 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 and sheets and everything is properly labeled here for you to see. As you can see, we have uh, the body towels and the hand cloths and the washcloths. And then um, uh, further down here, uh, of interest, you will also see the paper towels and the toilet papers that uh, will need to be put in the hallway closet um, because that's the first place that people will go to, uh, the guests will go to, to uh, restock their own supplies. So uh, usually don't have to, um, the guests will typically not go in here to, to uh, get supplies. This is mainly for housekeeping purposes. These two boxes in here are just for our own electrical equipment that is of not, no use. Thank you. So let me just show you where the cleaning supplies are at. Uh, a majority of our cleaning supplies are here in the hallway closet. So if you open it up, you'll find basically the wet Swiffer. We'll find the vacuum here. We'll find the broom and the dustpan, the dry Swiffer. We'll have the microfiber cloths here. We'll have a little caddy here uh, for our single scrubs. And notice that they're enclosed always in Ziploc bags. Once you open up these boxes, it does give an odor, uh, a little powerful odor. And this is why we have them closed up so when they are used, they can be put back, the box can be put back in the Ziploc bag and closed. Um, and of course we offer, <clears throat> we have the, um, the latex gloves here. And then, we have our wet Swiffer uh, pads here, and we have um, the soap replenishing uh, container here, and we have uh, an additional hand soap pump here. We have the Lysol, which is good to probably spray around the area <clears throat> in the trash cans. That's this is a good uh, thing to use. And then we have our trash bags. These are the small trash bags for the trash uh, containers in the bathroom and in the bedrooms. Okay, so please make sure you put the trash bags in those uh, containers. Um, and then up here, you know, we have uh, some the, the Clorox, the additional uh, Clorox wipes. Um, and uh, you're not going to be using an oven cleaner, I doubt it very much. And uh, these other ones you're not going to use like salt scrub. Um, uh, what's, what's best to use is what we outline in each uh, cleaning compartment of the house. Now, um, <clears throat> replenishing of other uh, uh, things around the house are paper towels and toilet paper that we have here. Um, here's where you can get them and put them respectively in the bathroom and in the kitchen. And next I'm going to show you... Um, where the um, uh, supplies are uh, for um, additional supplies, clean supplies that we have in the, in the laundry shed by the carport. Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna show you um, the uh, other cleaning locker that we have here in the uh, uh, laundry shed of the carport. So let me open it up. By the way, the light is right here on the side so you can turn it on or off um, so right above the dryer uh, we have two shelves and here's our, uh, our restocking supplies of cleaning materials here so notice that we have the shout uh, we'll probably put some shot containers right here and they can be refilled with these bigger containers we have the Lysol uh, we have the hand soap in here that um, will be used for those uh, liquid uh, soaps in the kitchen and in the bathroom. We have uh, the soap bars right here, <clears throat> and then we have the dishwashing uh, liquid uh, for the kitchen 
um, that could be used over there if it needs to be replenished or changed out and here we have the shampoo and conditioner the shampoo is the black one the, the conditioner is the white one and these are the little mini bottles that you put in the uh, shower caddy uh, along with one of these uh, soap bars and, and again that goes in the shower caddy um, we even have a, a bleach or Clorox uh, bleach cleaner if you got some heavy-duty mildew stains that you will not be able to take out with that I doubt it very much if you're going to ever need this. Um, again, just follow how we uh, do the cleanings in each different compartment of the house. Uh, we also have the box of candies in here, which would be provided along with the, uh, along with the welcome package. So just take one of these um, candies, one of these candy boxes, and put it along with the welcome package. And uh, down below, in the next shelf, we have. Um, the uh, crotch white piece in here and of course um, the Windex uh, that comes in very handy okay so we're gonna now show you the cleanings for the bedrooms <clears throat> one of the very first things you want to do when you start cleaning the house is to come and get the linens and put them in the wash so while things are washing you can start working in a bathroom and in the kitchen and the living room area so the very first thing you want to do, and I'm going to show you the two cleaning uh, solutions or one of the cleaning solutions you, could, you, you need to be aware of, is to look for spots. Before you start taking all the linens out of the, out of the, um, <clears throat> out of the bed, what you want to first do is you just want to move out the, the cushions that are probably still there when the bed is made, okay? And then you want to look for spots look all around in this case we have the the, <clears throat> the cover and if you do see a spot you can use either the oxyclean or the shelf that we have in the hallway closet okay so if you see a spot just spray it on okay and then put it in the hamper then when you take this off you'll see the, the bed sheet the look and examine it if you see a spot just cover it over and then uh, <clears throat> when you see the pillowcases, examine the pillows. And if you see any spots, just cover them. The reason why we want you to do that is so it's easy. It's, it's opened up for you. So you don't have to be, you know, looking through the, the hamper. So, um, um, and then of course, uh, when you wash them, um, <clears throat> um, well, we'll go into a little bit more details about how to wash it in, in, in the washing machine, but you just want to wash the whites first and then the colors uh, separate. Uh, you can use, uh, in the wash, you can put a combination of either linens and towels, uh, it doesn't really matter, just don't fill it up too much. Uh, but it'll typically take about four wash loads, but we'll discuss that later. Um, one other thing, after you put everything to wash, uh, you also want to throw away things in the garbage can that are here <coughs> and then uh, you want to start um, cleaning the surfaces okay and then the surfaces again we have the the Windex and the microfiber cloth so you may want to start with the TV here so you want to spray around the TV wipe down the surface and the base and the cable TV and up here Mirrors are usually stained with fingerprints and all that stuff, so you usually want to spray um, um, maybe the whole um, <clears throat> and, and wipe down the, the whole mirror and the surfaces here, you know. And then, of course, you know, with the, with the glasses at, uh, I mean, the uh, windows are at. These are Milgard windows, so you want to go ahead and um, usually you're just going to have be worried about uh, cleaning the the surface, you know, the window sills, and on top of the AC, uh, we'll usually take care of the window screens and um, and the and the windows. Um, um, that's a little bit more involved. Um, um, so the other thing you may want to clean here is the surface. People usually put their suitcases here. Usually for that kind of stuff, you want to use a, a Lysol wiping, you know, for this. And then. <coughs> um, uh, to clean the floor, again, um, it's good to have cleaned the floor um, at the very beginning because then you'll be transferring dirt all over the place. So again, we want to use this um, this dry swiffer, and then at the very end, just before everything is put together, 
uh, you want to use the, the wet Swiffer, you know, in all the rooms and, and everything. So um, what we're going to show you next then is um, how to put the bed sheets on it. Now, in the corner bedroom, we're going to have all the linens organized into boxes, and you'll be able to know what box to go to to what get uh, what uh, what bed sheet. Please note that in the master bedroom, you have the California King. In that corner bedroom, uh, we have the California bed, and in this uh, bedroom, we have the double. So you're going to use obviously different uh, linens for different beds. Yes, I'm sorry. In, in that in that corner bedroom, you're going to have the queen bed. Yeah, this one's the California king, and this corner bedroom is the double. Okay, so um, in the next video shoot, we'll show you how to put the bed and uh, what towels we're going to put for our guest for bathing. Okay, thank you. Okay, in preparation for the wash, uh, notice here this is the soap that you will be using. Uh, for the housekeeping uh, washing of the linens and here are all your fabric softeners okay um, what we want to first do is uh, before we put the, um, <clears throat> the uh, clothing in here so you want to lift it up make sure there's nothing in there and then uh, the settings you want to use is for large load you set it for large load okay and then you want to set it to warm and cold setting and leave everything else the same <coughs> uh, you can set it either heavy duty or regular either one of these two will be fine and then what you want to then do is for this dial um, just um, push it in push the, the, the knob in and rotate it all the way over here for ultra clean and then push out this will start filling the container the barrel here uh, full of water and um, what you want to then do is you want to allow the water to completely fill up and then fill up one of these containers with soap and pour it all in there um, and once it starts agitating then that's when you want to start putting in the clothing okay so um, we'll just show you once uh, the, the next step uh, to fill it up with clothing. Okay, now um, as you can see, it's already reached the level and the agitator is running. So we want to get one of these uh, detergent containers and just pour it all in there. Okay, put it back, back in here. That's it. And uh, by the way, if this is a, a little a, a bit dirty, we just asked for the guests to um, just clean it up please for us. Um, now we get to put uh, all the linens in here and you just want to put it in. Our suggestion is to um, put it in as it's agitating and then uh, it's straightforward. Make sure, make sure to close the lid once you finish. Okay and uh, it will work for two spin cycles and finish and then of course just put the stuff in the dryer. Thank you. Okay after the wash is uh, been cleaned already you can go ahead and open up the uh, washer and you're about or ready to throw the stuff in the dryer uh, the settings that we uh, are recommending that the uh, housekeepers use is to set it on cotton for high uh, you can leave the extra care off and make sure you set it for about at least to 70 to 60 minutes uh, for drying uh, especially the towels they're gonna take up at least 70 minutes so you just set it right there and uh, you want to continue prepping the dryer for the uh, wash load make sure that you come down here and you take out the lint that's in here right here right there and then you just throw it away over here okay and the um, uh, in the in the garbage can that we have here in in, in the uh, in the carport. Now, uh, one thing that we are gonna ask um, uh, is basically to throw away um, um, rubbish like that 
in this garbage can. Okay, so now it's straightforward. As we put all the wash, the, the stuff that's been cleaned in here, um, just make sure you use the fabric, you know, a couple of sheets of the fabric softener in here. And then uh, once you close it up, you can go ahead and start it and, and then commence with your cleaning. Thank you so much, bye-bye. One thing worth mentioning here is when um, the laundry is collected in the house and the, and the laundry is put to wash um, and, the, and the basket is empty, make sure to always wipe down the laundry hamper. And I tell you this, um, every time you're going to find a lot of sand and you don't want um, to have stuff that's already been dried or, or washed uh, to be put back in um, a hamper that has been uh, that's still dirty or full of sand. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now uh, we're basically almost in the last stage of the of the bedroom, and um, now we are uh, putting the linens on the bed. Now all the beds are going to come with um, <clears throat> a, with a mattress cover. Okay, so it's over this mattress cover that we are going to first put the fitted sheet. Now the beds come in rectangular size, so this side compared to this side is smaller. So this side is smaller. So you can tell which side is the, is the longer one on the fitted sheet. Obviously this is the longer one, so it's gonna go like this, and this is the shorter one, right? So I'm just gonna fit it in like this. Right here, and this, see right here? Okay, there we go. Put each corner like this. Come over here. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that it's even on all sides. Pretty straightforward. Now, I want to make sure that it's over the, the, the mattress. Now, one thing that's worth pointing out is that because of this headboard, we want to make sure that the, that the mattress fitted sheet covers the, the entire mattress on this side. I have to pull on it. Okay, down there, like that. You want to make sure that it's nice, wrinkle free like that. Okay. Okay, and then you want to make sure, you see how it's hanging down here? Okay, you want to make sure it goes and it's tucked under underneath here, okay? You want to make sure there are no hairs, of course, you know, anywhere on the linens, even though they've been clean. Okay, and you want to check the sides. See how it's drooping in here? You want to make sure it's nice and tucked down in here, like that, on both sides. Okay. We're gonna do the next part now. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, the cover sheet. Now, in the cover sheet, what you wanna do is you wanna have the the sewing portions, okay, facing up, okay? And then, because the body is gonna go underneath that um, cover, okay? So what we're gonna first do, now of course, each bed is gonna be a little different, okay? But um, on, the, on the California King, what you wanna do, is you want to take out throw the, uh, the cover sheet, spread it out a little, okay? Now, start from here. This, this portion right here that has the overlap, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to put it on the very edge of the, of the bed, okay? On the very edge, okay? Okay, and we're going to move this all the way down until it, it, it's on the frame, on the very frame here. Okay, now again, this is the California 
the California king bed, okay? All right, okay, see how it's down to here? Just set it uniformly like that. All right, all right. Then you can just spread it out like this. And again, you wanna bring this folded sheet up to the edge all the way up to here. Okay, because you're gonna, when you put the, uh, the, um, the other sheet, the comforter, you're gonna fold this over the comforter, okay? Right there, we're gonna make sure that there's no creases. So you see here how it's basically aligned with the frame of the bed. Right here, okay. And you just leave it drooping down like this. Make sure you get rid of the creases. Okay, it's perfect like this, okay? Again, when we put the, the comforter, we're gonna fold this over the comforter. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna put the comforter on, okay? Now, there's different sizes for the comforter, but what you wanna do is you wanna use the outer side as a guide, okay? So you wanna basically match the, uh, the end of this um, uh, comforter with the, the end of the cover of the bed, okay? And you just wanna bring this one to the very end of the edge of the mattress, okay? See how I have it almost the same length as the, uh, the cover right here? Okay, just wanna come over and over here as well. You wanna make sure that this, the comforter also reaches the very edge as well. Okay. Now in some cases, the comforter is not going to reach all the way to the very end on this side. That's okay. We want to focus on this, on this side and this side to make sure that they do, that they do reach that level. Okay, we have to go down a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Then over here a little bit more. See how it's nice like that? You don't have to tuck it in. We're not gonna be tucking anything in. Okay, and then again over here. We wanna make sure that this side is, is okay. Or it's even, even there. Here, we just have to even it up. Even it up in here. So at least it's even on that side. Okay, now we're gonna make sure that this is okay here. We're gonna take out the creases. Now, you see what I've done? I've gone above the mattress, okay? So what we wanna do is just bring it back down like this, like that, you see? Perfect. Wanna make sure the creases are out. It's even on this side. Now we can just bring simply the cover of the bed just over, just over the comforter, right here, like this. Okay, put it right here like this. Make it nice and even, okay. Okay, nice and even like this. Nice and even like that. Okay, now we're gonna put the pillows over over the, um, now in this case I haven't put all the um, the pillowcases, but just to give you an idea, um, obviously you're gonna have the pillowcases on it. We're gonna put the big pillows on first, okay? I'm gonna put the big pillows, and then we're gonna put the two smaller pillows that have the, comf these one already have the covers, right above it like this. Right in the middle of the pillow. Okay, I'm gonna do it right here like this as well. Um, okay, and then, then um, um, you actually wanna put the pillows right here on, on the, um, on the side of the uh, of the big ones, okay? And then for the finishing touch, you just put these here like this, 
and then this here like this, and voila, your bed is made. That's it. And then the last part, of course, like we said, we're gonna go ahead and Swiffer uh, the floor. And the linens, I just wanna show you here in a closet. This is what we're gonna provide each room with two uh, body towels, two hand towels, and two washcloths. And we leave those there in each one of the, uh, the closets. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to clean the bathroom in the most efficient way. These are the cleaners that you're gonna need. You're gonna first need uh, the dustpan and the broom, um, Clark's uh, wipes, um, <clears throat> the microfiber, cloth, uh, Windex, um, the scrub pads, and this to um, dry up the, um, the, uh, the, the thing. And then uh, the soap to refill the containers, okay? So what we, the very first thing that you want to do is to take everything out of the bathroom and I'm going to show you what to take out and then we'll start the next phase is going to be what to clean, okay? Okay, so let's cut right now. Like we said, now we want to take all the stuff out and I'm going to tell you how a typical bathroom looks like after guests have used it. So what we want to do is um, refill this container if it's, it hasn't, okay? Um, if it's already, after you fill it up, make sure you use the Clorox wipes to clean it all around. And this tool, just take this out. And just clean it inside, the outside. And you can probably just put it in here for safe sake. Okay, you can put it in here. If they have any, if the guests, we typically leave this for the guests. Hydrogen peroxide and um, some um, uh, sunscreen spray. So that will leave in there, okay? But anything else, like um, stuff like this, we'll throw it out. But you can just uh, leave this, 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 these two items in here. This we're just gonna leave temporarily here. We're gonna start putting stuff, some stuff in here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put this in, in the garbage right here like this, okay? And then um, things like soap, we just discard them, throw them away like that, okay? Um, this stopper, we'll just put it right here. Okay, now what we're gonna start taking away from the from the bathroom is this stuff here, like these three items, okay? The plunger, the scrub brush, and the trash can, okay? We'll put it right here in the hallway, okay? We should wanna clear everything, so I'll let you clean faster. The toilet paper, you notice that the toilet paper needs to be cleaned or, or, or um, replaced. So we'll just take it out and we'll just put it outside and throw it away, okay? In the garbage can, boof. Over here, guests will tend to leave um, some soaps, conditioners or whatever, but what we provide for the guests are these three items. You see? Now more, more than likely when you take these out, these have to be refilled, but you don't have to worry about refilling. We'll just provide you with additional ones and you just have to put them in there. And the soap, okay? So we're gonna take this out because we're gonna be washing the, the tub, okay? All this other stuff that the, the guests have left, throw it away, just trash it, okay? Right here, look. Boom, that's it. Okay, now the next phase we're gonna show you. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, I forgot to take this out too. So we've taken everything out and the place is now ready to be cleaned, okay? Next, next phase. Oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna put these right here because we know that we're gonna replenish, when we finish cleaning everything, we're gonna put these items um, in, the, in the bathroom in the respective place, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, now, now that everything is out of the bathroom, we are now ready uh, for the cleaning phase, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is clean the floor, okay? Because uh, a lot of people, you're gonna find the most sand in the bathroom, okay? So that's what we wanna do now. Uh, and you wanna start from the end and work your way out and then just sweep it into the dustpan, okay? So we just start right here. Of course, I'm not gonna go into, I'm not gonna clean the whole floor for you, but you're gonna get the idea of um, how what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna go and just, Backtrack like this, 
and then eventually over there we're just going to put everything in a dustpan and we'll throw it out okay once that is done the next thing we can start doing is use the Clorox single scrubs okay now this has two sides the best side to do to do your cleaning is the blue side okay so notice it's very easy believe me you just uh, put some water on it and then you just scrub it down like this okay you make sure you get everything in here especially around the faucet in here over and I'm just gonna do one okay just to show you just to get you underneath here over okay then you're gonna scrub it here like this and then you're gonna get these strainers you're gonna get each one and you're just gonna go like this clean them inside out like this okay okay there we go all right I'm gonna keep working my way backwards very very easy okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bathroom now notice that we have purchased special hangers from Bed, um, Bed Bath & Beyond that allow you to disconnect this shower curtain if it needs to be washed. Um, every so often, maybe about once a month, it, we, we, um, this is not a, this is a cloth um, sh uh, shower curtain that we just throw in the, in the wash, okay? In this case, we're not going to take it out, but we're going to show you how to conveniently put it to the side so you can do your cleaning in here, okay? Um, so. Uh, but if, if you do notice that it is dirty, just take it out of here and just turn it on the wash, okay? So what we want to do is we want to throw this up here like this, okay? And now we're ready to clean. So the first thing we want to do is turn on the water and just spray water all over here, right? And then what we do next is get the soft, the, um, the blue pad side, okay? And we can start cleaning from here down, all the way from here down, okay? on all three sides, okay? So you just work yourself, your, your way down, especially in the corners, make sure you get, if there's any mildew buildup, just get them in here on the side. Then just do um, on this side here, make sure you um, clean the backsplash here and up here as well. You can do this kneading down. And then the handlebar, you wanna clean this too. All right, we got it here like this. Okay, so we wanna, Work yourself down and then in the, in the pan here, you just want to make sure you get the sides here like this. All right, like this, nice and clean. Of course, I'm doing it really fast just to, show, just to give you an idea on how to do this, okay? So perfect. Now, um, once we do that, uh, just so we can finish using this, okay? This is the last segment of this and then we're going to throw, it, we'll throw this away. Let's go to the toilet. We just go to the toilet over here, and we just use this on the side of the, of the bowl, here, like this. And then underneath, like this. Okay. And then like that. Okay. It's really good there. Especially around the edge of the water right there, okay? Okay, there. That's it. That's what we've done. Now we can just... Um, flush this and we can throw this away okay so then the next portion of the work is now to rinse things off okay so I got my microfiber cloth right here so now after we've applied the soap and cleaned the bathroom we're going to change out our gloves and we have already changed them and now we're going to start rinsing stuff out with the microfiber cloth okay let me just show you so we first start off here and we just get the cloth here. This is a great cloth, okay? Because this not only rinse it out, but you can also dry up the counter. See? Like this, like this. Once the soap suds are off, you can then start, you rinse out your, um, your microfiber cloth. And then you can just dry it like this. Press box. Done. Now we're going to do the shower. We're going to just rinse this whole portion out. And just go from top to bottom. And this cleaning really doesn't take too much time. I, I, I would estimate about maybe 20 minutes to clean the bathroom. Just follow the the the, um, the systemic way we got it, okay, there. Let's 
You've already rinsed it off, and now all you gotta do is just wipe it down. Like this, see? Right there, there you go. Then up to this side, you wanna rinse it off. Squeeze it. Okay? Over here, especially, this is especially important on the metals. Look at that. Look at that beautiful shine there. See? This is why the microfiber cloth is awesome for this kind of job. Okay? Go down in here. And then you do the very bottom. And you get the idea. Okay, so now we finish uh, basically uh, wrapping up the, um, the wiping down of the, of the shower stall. And just make sure um, that there's no hair um, anywhere on the ground or on the tub or on the sink. Or in the, okay? So once the, um, the, the uh, sink and the bath and the stall and the bath uh, shower is, um, is dried, now we move on to the toilet. Now, we have already cleaned the, the, the toilet bowl, okay? So all we gotta do now is just use the white piece, then we just use white piece all around here like this. And use as many as you need to, okay? Don't, um, don't uh, you know, one for each item of the, of the, of the, of the seat. Okay, up in here, up here, and then back in here like this. Okay, the top, and then up here. No. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna now that the toilet bowl is clean, what we're gonna do now is use the Clorox wipes to clean everywhere around the, the, the toilet. Okay, so we're gonna use different ones to clean different sec uh, portions of the of the of the toilet. Okay. Use as many as you need, okay? So first we'll clean the base here, like this, especially here. Okay, just throw it on the floor. And another one. Now we're gonna do another one for the seat. Backwards like this. Okay, put that one away. Now one for the cover. And be meticulous here because we don't want any um, hairs or anything like that here. That's top. Okay, now we use another one to clean the tap here. And this is just dusty up here, mainly, you know, just the, the tank, toilet tank here. And throw that one away. Then we'll use another one now to clean the sides, okay? All around the side here, like this. Okay, especially down in this area here, like then, okay? Push you on the sides down in here. Here, I'm gonna use another one. And then you can clean the sides here like this. Okay, all around here, like that. Okay, don't worry, we got plenty of these Clorox wipes. Now, the next phase is to, um, when you're here, you wanna, just like the brooming, now you, what you wanna do is you wanna clean the floor with the mm -hmm. Clorox wipes. Okay, now that we've finished cleaning the toilet, uh, what we want to do next is change our gloves, which we have already, okay? And then uh, what we're going to do next is now start using these Clorox wipes, uh, the same ones, uh, to clean the floor. Now we swept the floor, but now we have to clean it, okay, uh, with these Clorox wipes. Now, you start back here, and you just reach back in here and just clean it. Just rub it down there, on the side, there, on both sides of the, of the toilet, make sure. You know, there's no residues back in here. Just work yourself back. And like I said, use as many Clorox wipes as you want. And always wear gloves, okay? Especially when you're uh, going after finishing cleaning the bathroom. You just clean like this. And this is really simple to do. You just, believe me, this is better than using a swiffer, you know? And it's up to you. If you want to use a swiffer, that's fine too. You know, I uh, usually do it. I find it a lot faster and more effective sometimes to do it this way. Um, so, um, I'm not going to clean the whole floor now that we're demonstrating it. But, you know, that's it. You just go out here, just throw everything out here in the, uh, in the garbage bin here. And then, the last, one of the last part here, is we want to bring this down. And now what we want to do is um, clean the mirror and use a, a, another um, microfiber. 
here, okay? And you just, just spray the Windex. Just do it in circles here like this. Make sure that the glass is really clean. And we're almost done. Okay. You're so lucky that you're tall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we go. We finished with this. Now, we put all these things away. And then now what we can start doing is putting all the amenities here. We'll put the soap and uh, uh, shampoo and conditioner right here. Put it right here like this and like this. Close it up, make sure it's nice and neat there. And then you bring your, uh, your uh, liquid soap in the cup. We just leave it there. And then uh, the next thing we will do is populate um, this, um, the bathroom with the beach towels. Beach towels all go right in here. Like right here, like this, okay? And then uh, we gotta make sure we put the toilet paper, a new roll of toilet paper that's over, and you'll find them in the, um, in the uh, hallway closet. And then we will put the two mats here um, the, the small little mats for people to get off the shower um, and then that's it that's, that's, that's all that has to be done one more thing that I did want to note is that we have a, um, a, a blow dryer here and we also have a sewing kit uh, one thing we uh, we ask uh, our cleaning folks to do is to check to make sure there's no hairs in here especially you know where we have the blow dryer and the blow dryer is right here Okay, right here. It belongs in the second row. Um, and then it is like this just to wrap it around the cord. And that is it. That, this concludes the cleaning of the bathroom. And it's, like I said, it should take no more than 20 minutes to do this. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to discuss on how to clean the kitchen. So these are the products that you're going to need just to clean the kitchen. Okay? You got, just like in the bathroom, you have your Clorox uh, scrub singles, you have your, your white bees, and you have your orange oil degreaser. Now, typically, a lot of times you don't have to use this degreaser unless there's a lot of grease that uh, guests have done by cooking, but that's usually not the case. And, and we also have the microfiber or the, 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 yeah, the microfiber cloth, which is what you should always use uh, to wipe down. Uh, the areas. All of this, of course, with all the cleaning stuff, is always in the in the hallway closet. Okay. So the first thing you want to do when you come here um, is typically a lot of guests leave a lot of stuff. In this case, they're very nice. They left us lace, flowers, candies. Um, they also left us with recycling stuff, as you can see. So basically with the recycling stuff, you just throw them in the blue bin or the garbage. You just pull it out, take it out, put it in the garbage. You may actually want to leave it here because you're going to be throwing a lot more stuff. Um, this you can of course take out, you can keep it if you want to, throw it out. And then what they also typically leave here is food. Lots of good food. <laughs> okay, so you want to open up the refrigerator let's look and see what they got here see these these guests in here left us with a bunch of food okay so you're happy to take anything you want from here okay including the beer and they also left probably some sometimes they leave some ice creams and stuff like that I don't know in this case they um, they left uh, some Tahitian vanilla bean one pint you can take that with you basically what's left in here is um, just the frozen stuff that we have our mangoes, just leave that there, of course, and uh, the glass cloth, right here. Okay, just leave them there. But everything else in here, you can just basically take away. And um, what we have here, though, what we furnish with our guests is condiments, like mayonnaise, soy sauce. And we also leave uh, our guests with the, the creamers. The creamers right in here, in the bag. And we also leave the the sugar in the refrigerator so it doesn't the ends it doesn't attract any ants or anything like that. This wine of course doesn't belong here you can throw that away. 
um, butters and stuff like that, you don't want to leave them here neither. Okay. And uh, if you want to replenish the creamers or the coffee, you can find them right here. Here are the creamers and here's the coffee. Okay. And the coffee, you put it right over here to replenish the gas. Here's the filter bags. We should have blended filter bags. Here's the caffeinated uh, coffee. And we also have another container for regular uh, coffee. But if that's not the case, just put the bag right over here for the regular coffee and they'll use it. The coffee makers right here. One thing that I did want to mention, since we're talking about coffee, is to always check the uh, the coffee. See in here, they left the coffee, so you have to take that out, you have to clean it, as well as take this out, open it up, clean it, see they left coffee in there, and then put it back in there. Make sure you clean the bottom in here with the white piece, okay? Always check the microwave, wipe it down with, um, obviously it's been used, so you wanna wipe it down with a Clorox white piece. White piece are gonna be your best friend here, okay? Now, I've talked about taking stuff out. Typically, a lot of guests will cook here, okay? So we have to, they will attempt to wash the dishes. Sometimes they do a good job, sometimes they don't. But these dishes cannot be left here. They have to be uh, put back into the respective cabinets in order, you know? Here we have the glasses, and here we have the bowls here. So you want to put the, the, the dishes back in the, in the cabinets. As you put them back there, can you please look and see if it's dirty? If it's dirty, um, we would ask you to please clean it and then put them back. Uh, one thing we want to show you also is that that you want to check is check the uh, the, the, uh, the washing uh, the dishwasher. Make sure that it's not dirty. If there's dishes in there, examine if they've been cleaned. Sometimes they leave them in there, they don't even wash them. So. Um, if you need to use it, uh, you can press it and press the, well, before you, you the soaps are right here to put in here, okay? Press it, okay. And uh, by the way, the garbage bags are all right in here. Um, this is a, a mat that we uh, ask uh, when you put everything together to leave back here. Obviously, it's dirty and it has to be cleaned. Uh, this is for glasses, so glasses uh, can, um, can uh, dry here. Okay, um, oh, I, I discovered the other coffee jar right here. So we just have to clean it and probably put some of the coffee in, in here. If not, you can just leave it out there for the, for the guests. Okay, so what are the things we do to clean? Okay, now this is the next phase. Um, what we do is we get the Clorox wipes, okay, and we start wiping down everything now, okay? We start using the Clorox wipes. We wipe down all the cabinets down, all around. We move things out, we wipe underneath them and all that stuff. We also use the Clorox wipes to clean the surfaces of the metal. So you just take one out of here and you clean the whole surface metal here, surface metal here, 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 and here, okay? And then you can also, depending if they've used the, the, the stove top, if they've used the stove top, we ask you to use the scrub singles on these, okay? You just wet them a little. Uh, use the the blue pad of the scrub singles. I'll show you right here. Just like in the bathroom. Right here, see? You just wipe it down, and this is a great clean right here. Just wipe it down. And then um, you can then, of course, remember to dry. You just wet this in water, and you just dry it. Wipe it down, and then you rinse it off. The other thing that you want to also clean with the scrub singles is the sink, right here. So again, you uh, wash the sink down with this and then you uh, rinse it off with this and you dry it off with this also. And then... Um, Just something I wanted to mention is uh, don't use the scrubbing pads in the stainless steel. Yes, that's right, correct. Um, do not use any anything that's scratchy you know, like uh, abrasive, like do not use uh, the green pads and don't use any of these on any of the metal. Only use the Clorox Lysol wipings, 
Uh, you also may want to check the inside of the oven. 99% of the time, nobody uses the oven. But uh, if they had used it, again, this is the tool. You're going to use this to just clean this down. Um, in the event that they have cooked with grease, and grease is splattered all over the place and everything, this is your tool. This is awesome. Okay. All you need is your microfiber here. And you spray it on the on the surfaces, you know, and then you just wipe it down, and it will take it off in the first shot. Okay, you may have to look around, spray some more, and wipe it down. More. This is basically for a lot of greasy residue. Excellent. Okay, now once that's all done, one thing that I did want to mention, if uh, Andy, you can come over, I just want to show you, um, is to check. You know, here's where we have the culinary equipment. Sometimes uh, this gets a little dirty and we ask, you know, our, our cleaning or housekeeping folks to clean in here to make sure that this is all clean and also nice and orderly. That, that's also very important. Um, and the pots and pans that they finish using all belong down here. We'll put the pots and pans and the cutting boards will also go down in here. So once, once you've cleaned this whole place up, and one thing I, we did want to mention is after you do take the food out, you will again have to use the Lysol wipes to clean the surfaces or the shelves of the, of the kitchen. Um, one thing I did want to show you here is um, down here in the bottom, you know, especially down in here in this area, you know, you want to use the, the Clorox uh, wipes to clean all of this, the surfaces. Of course, that's when the food is out, you know. <laughs> And around here also, you want to have it clean. They got some residue here or whatever. You want to use the Clorox wipes. Okay, now, um, now the last stage of uh, the cleaning is basically the replenishing, okay? And in the replenishing, we basically replenish our, our guests with towels. Now in this case, you know, these, these, these paper towels are enough for another guest to use. But if they start, you know, if they don't have that much in here, then uh, um, we have replenishments of these towels in the closet, in the hallway closet. You can just put a new batch in here. Um, okay. And um, you want to leave the, the, the guests with the Clorox wipes so they themselves do their own housekeeping to a certain extent when they're, when they're here. You can leave that here. And then, of course, the last step here uh, for this kitchen to be clean. Hi. Um, now we're going to show you how to clean uh, the living room and dining room area of the house. Very simple. So first of all, let me just start off, like always, with all the utensils that we use. We have the vacuum cleaner. We have the dry Swiffer, which is one of my favorites, okay? and we have the broom with the dustpan and we have the the wet swiffer right here <clears throat> um, so what you want to first do is um, look at the carpet if the carpet has a really bad stain on it um, in this case it doesn't um, if it does have one uh, we're just going to ask you to basically roll it up and leave it out in the carport you know um, we will then take care of it uh, with a shampoo cleaning um, but more than likely it's gonna just require just vacuuming so after you vacuum it uh, which is straightforward uh, all you then have to do is just roll it up roll it up like this and put it in a corner over there okay in the house okay so it gives you the space where you can now uh, swift for properly then the next carpet you want to clean is this one over here, or vacuum that is, okay? That's the entrance carpet. So you, you vacuum it, you know, over there where it's convenient, and then you roll it up, and then you put it away. So then you have the bare uh, awkward floor. The next thing you want to do, um, <clears throat> and uh, you may want to do it in every room as well, is to use this dry swiffer. This one, from experience, is phenomenal. Now, it's got two sides to it. 
the side you want to have facing the floor is this one here the great thing about this one is that it picks up everything it picks up uh, hair and um, it will move the dirt into a certain area that you can then use of course your broom and your dustpan to pick up um, and after you finish using it you can always take it out of here and put it in, in the, and just take it out of here like this and then just put it in into the washing machine um, <clears throat> so make sure you use this afterwards take your time and, 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 and uh, getting every nook and cranny just uh, swiffing it over and uh, like I said it'll pick up everything so once that's done um, the next thing you want to then do and this is usually for the at the very end after all the surfaces are clean and the bathroom is done and the kitchen is done is you want to uh, use the wet swiffer see right here you just open it up put the, uh, the green tape facing up put this on top and then you just start swiffering everywhere and then you can of course use this um, button here where it's it secretes the uh, the the lotion and we have canisters also in the uh, <clears throat> refilling canisters that you can you know you have to do just put in a new one in here and in the hallway closet okay and then uh, once it's all swiffered just let it dry and then you can blow back the carpets fair enough okay good then the, one other thing you want to look at is the sofa does the sofa have any, the, the, I mean, the, uh, we have a cover, this is a sofa cover. If it has any stains, just roll it up and throw it inside the wash. Now, once it's washed and dried in the dryer, you, uh, you want to set it into place and you want to make sure it's nice and neat, you know, so it's, there's no, there's no, uh, um, you know, wrinkles anywhere, you know, um, you set it up. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. Um, you see that the, uh, the the arm rests here go around in this area. So just make sure when you fit it over, it's in the right area. And it's going to go over the cushions and in, or in, in, into the cushions like that. So just make sure um, it's put back in place and nice and neat. One thing you may want to also do is please to wipe down this. Uh, um, uh, shoe stand here okay you know you wipe them down and make sure that you clean underneath it and once that's done now we're going to take care of the surfaces and uh, we'll take care of the surfaces with uh, the Lysol wipey and the Clorox I mean in the um, <clears throat> the Windex and the microfiber cloth so the first thing you want to do is you want to collect all of these like this okay and you want to march over to the kitchen and with a with a Lysol wipe, just clean the surfaces, front and back. <clears throat> and then, uh, of course, the glass will be over here, right? So then what you can then do is, um, with um, a Lysol wipe, um, just clean the surface, let it dry, and then just uh, put the, the Windex, and then using, you may have to use the Windex underneath. People sometimes, or children, you know, touch the uh, underneath the glass. So you may wanna, uh, with a microfiber cloth, uh, clean the, the, the top and the bottom, okay? And then just come back and just put uh, all the, um, the mats on top of the table like this so they cover almost every area. You know, sometimes they may put plates and everything up here. And you may want to wipe down the, 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 the chairs as well. And then uh, with, the, um, with the Windex and the microfiber cloth, you can also please clean the surfaces that we have like the TV and, and the tabletops and up here as well as the, the windows and the window sills here. And that should be it for the, um, the living room area. So once we finish cleaning the, the living room area, the final touch we want to do is um, leave our guests with the welcome package up here. And of course, we want to organize all the, um, the tourist brochures and everything with a box of chocolates. And we'll show you where to get that. Um, uh, so when they come over, and the, they'll have the welcome package and the box of chocolates. Okay, thank you. Okay, for the outside area, 
uh, to get the place on the outside ready for uh, to receive the guests. Notice that we have two uh, coolers over here for them to use, and uh, we have a uh, repository here of beach mats and uh, beach umbrellas right here. And we just asked uh, for you know the housekeeping folks just to you know um, <clears throat> put everything pretty orderly, you know. Um, if this is uh, pretty filled up or even halfway filled up to just throw it away in the gray bin this is only for non-perishable items and um, the boogie board should all be stacked sort of neatly and the beach chairs as well we have the uh, other snorkeling and baby amenities up here um, just make sure things just look really orderly if the guests have left a lot of sand and one of these items uh, we just ask uh, just to have them rinsed off right over there by the hose and um, just to neatly stack you know the flotation devices um, <clears throat> we uh, if there's any uh, uh, debris out here we just ask for um, the housekeeping folks to you know round it up and throw it in the garbage cans and uh, we also have the uh, the holes here make sure it's coiled up nice and neatly and then over here um, just just make sure that you know the stairs are are swept and um, that the mat is facing the right way um, if this seems to be a little bit dusty we just ask for the housekeeping folks just to you know just wipe it down very easy okay and this concludes the uh, oh yeah and then the outside just make sure that you know the um, the chairs are properly put out. We don't have to put the cushions out there for them. Um, the cushions are in the carport for them to use. And um, the uh, let me show you the barbecue areas. Yes, and in the barbecue corner, you want to make sure that um, there's no debris on the grass. Sometimes this papaya tree has some leaves falling on the on the ground. If you could pick that up, please, that would be great. Sometimes um, this cover here for the lawn furniture collects a lot of water, rain water. And we just ask um, for our housekeeping folks to uh, just just dump it over the side. You got some water here, so, but that's nothing. And then over here, if you see any coconuts that have fallen down, if you could also pick them up and um, just sweep the flag, flagstone, that would be great. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is how the house should look like um, when it's ready to receive guests. Notice how the sofa uh, cover is, um, is well tightly folded without any wrinkles. The glass is uh, clean with the mats on top of the table. Notice the entrance mat and the rug on the floor. Um, the floor has already been swiffered. Uh, the counters have been uh, cleaned. Um, all the uh, tourist information is neatly compiled. Games put away. The garbage can is of course empty. <coughs> the two, one or two towels are put for um, the oven as um, dry cloths, uh, shampoo, and um, you notice we have um, a sponge that we just got from down here, a brand new sponge. We have garbage bags. All the dishes are put away, none in the dish rack, and there's none in the um, dishwasher made sure that the coffee is empty um, we made sure that we have coffee in both containers we typically leave some water and some beers if you don't have them that's fine 
Okay, so it's uh, clear except for the condiments, the creamer and sugar and this side door. Um, we have um, a Lysol a wipey with uh, some rags for them to use. And we've got the welcome package. Um, we usually have the box of chocolates here for them. Down in the hallway. Okay, going down the hallway. What we want to make sure is um, is that the guest or the um, hallway closet has um, toilet paper and paper towels and the safety kit or the first aid kit right here. Besides all the all the cleaning supplies uh, put away. Um, then we shut the light. In the bathroom, um, we want to just have the mats here, two of them here, and um, we want to make sure that um, you have your sh shampoo, conditioner, and um, and soap, and uh, we also want to make sure that there's no hairs anywhere on the floor. There's no hairs. Um, Actually, when I leave the curtains like this, I'll roll them up again. Um, no hairs in the, on the toilet, of course, after you finish cleaning it. This is the only trash can that uh, will need a plastic bag over it. Um, the window, the bottom window should be down, this window pane, and this one should be open. If you do see them both closed, the way that you have to uh, open them is the bottom one first and then you can open up the top one and slide the bottom one down this is for ventilation purposes you know then we open the uh, uh, cabinet here and make sure that they have their uh, beach towels here they then um, <clears throat> up here basically well, we actually don't even need this, but just the beach towels that we're looking for. And uh, you have the soap dispenser. Again, no hairs on the counters. And the fan. Now we go to the left corner bedroom. Um, we have to make sure that the garbage can is empty here, that the TV is wiped clean. Um, you can see how the bed is done. See that? Okay. Um, we want to make sure that the uh, <clears throat> at least the uh, ACs are covered by the curtain. Um, we want to make sure that the uh, nightstand is wiped down. And like in all the bedrooms, um, we're going to have the towel, uh, washcloth, and hand towels um, right here in the closet. Now on the other side, in this corner bedroom, remember this is, um, we have our um, other linens for restocking purposes. And you also have the toilet paper and the paper towels here. No, you'll leave that there. That'll be on the left hand side. Now we go to the other corner bedroom. This is the right corner bedroom. Um, this one doesn't have a nightstand, but you can see how the bed is laid out. This is a double bed. Floor is nice and swiffered. And um, on this side, you have the towels for the guest here body towel, hand towel, and washcloths. And of course, on the other side, like in all closets, we have our personal items. Uh, make sure again that in all the rooms that there's no fingerprints on the mirrors. Okay, so now we go to the master bedroom. And um, we only have uh, two trash cans. Um, or I mean one trash can in each bedroom except the corner bedroom. 
Um, make sure that you wipe down the TV just like in the other room. Um, in this particular case, they had a uh, the guest requested a pack and play, and we set it up for them. This pack and play is inside this closet right here, and um, we usually sometimes put the hamper underneath this table. Um, but in this case, the hamper is going to be put in the um, in the closet along with the towels for the guest. Um, we'll let you know if we do need a pack and play out for the guest. And um, this is how the bed looks like when it's ready for the guest. Okay. Make sure that the um, nightstand has been cleaned or wiped down. And again, we have our personal items on the left side of the closet, so we can just make sure close all the sliding uh, mirror doors, and that should be it. Thank you.